Hi yogis, Emma Maidman here. Welcome along to number three in our three-part video series powered by Nike and Rebel. Today, we are going to be getting you nice and energized. So you can check out our previous videos all about stretch and move. And today, energizing is on the menu. So this practice is going to use a few different breath techniques as well as some yoga postures designed to lift your energy. So this is perfect when you're feeling a little bit meh. Think of this as like an unmeh yourself. So when you're ready, grab your yoga mat and we'll start standing. So you can face towards the top of the mat. I'm going to keep facing you. Find a hip width position with your feet. And then Mexican wave your toes. Then ground down through all four corners. Take your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. Close down your eyes. Draw your chin in. Imagine that you're holding an imaginary avocado. So you kind of give yourself a slight double chin. Don't worry, no one's looking at you. Feel the shoulders relax. And just find a connection into your breath. Breathing into the belly into the chest, and then exhaling all the way out. Again, breathing into the belly, into the chest, and then exhaling all the way out. Just tapping in with how you're feeling in this moment. And we can use this really powerful practice of yoga to shift and transform energy in our body. Staying connected to your breath and remembering that this is a practice for everybody. Wherever you are at today, you can modify, you can rest when you need to. If you want to add on some crazy things, you can do that. Just making sure you're looking after yourself. Looking after your body and moving in a way that feels good for you. Take a final breath in here and a final breath out. Go ahead and gently blink your eyes open. We'll widen our stance just a little bit. And we're going to start with a breath technique called the breath of joy. As the name implies, it's going to bring you some joy. So I'll show you what it looks like first. Nice deep bend in the knees. It looks a bit like this. So it's an inhale, 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 and then a big and you can let that exhale out of your mouth. This is designed to start to get some energy moving and that big ah is a really great way to release. So when you're ready, find a nice comfortable stance, bend your knees so you're not kind of jamming in any way. I like to use my thumbs as I go up. So I'll cue you through it, we'll do it together. So find a nice stance when you're ready. Inhale, 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 and then big breath out. Ha! Ah, keep going, inhale. Inhale, inhale, ha. Ah. Two more. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. Last one for good measure. Inhale, 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 ha. Ah. Beautiful. Come and find a standing position. Bring your hands to prayer. Whew, just take a few moments to feel the effects of that practice. Feel already the energy starting to lift in your body. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. When you're ready, standing at the top of your mat, press into your feet. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, circle the hands back behind you, interlace the palms behind your lower back, roll the shoulders open, lift and open your chest. Go to them, widen the feet just a little bit, bend the knees, fold forward. Ha. Ah. Let your head relax. Knees are nice and bent so your belly can kind of rest on your thighs. Allow your arms just to drape overhead and then nod your head yes, nod your head no. Then nod your head yes again. We're all about those positive vibrations. <laughs> Let your head and neck relax. Your head's really heavy. It's like you're carrying around a giant kettlebell all day. So just let it relax. Feel the chest open. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. Just letting go of any drama. <sighs> Two more breaths here. Like you're cleaning or sweeping out your house. Ha. <sighs> One more. Ah, 
Good. Gently release the hands down to the mat. Take a little halfway lift of your chest, open your heart, and then soft knees fold on in. With a nice round spine, come up to standing, plug into the feet, inhale, reach the arms overhead. And as you exhale, take your hands to prayer at your heart space. Bring the weight into your right foot, take the left knee up into your chest, and then step it back slowly, we'll come into a nice lunge. Good, keep a bend in your back left knee so you not high extending and locking out and crunching into the lower back. A nice soft bend so you can lift your pubic bone forward and up. And then could you create more stability here? So if you're standing on a tightrope, you might be a little wobbly. Widen your stance, yeah, like you're on a train track. Good. Arms reach up overhead. See if you can find some stability through the midline. Maybe you're knitting your core, your ribs together a little bit more. Left leg is bent. All right, we're going to move through breath here. So as you inhale, begin to straighten your leg, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, bend the elbows, press the energy and the hands forward. Moving like that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Press it away. One more. Good. This time, keep the knee bent, arms up overhead, big breath in. As you exhale, open out into warrior two. So a nice deep bend into that front right leg. Make sure your left foot's pressing out firmly into the mat. Now you can choose what feels better with the positioning of your hips here. Make sure that front right knee is tracking over the middle toe so you can still see your big toe so the knee's not collapsing in or out. Arms come out nice and long and then just press the hands down so you're taking the tension out of the shoulders like you're pressing your hands onto a body of water. That's what I like to think of. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Reach forward, reverse the shape all the way back. Keep the right leg bent, get long in the right side of your body. Good, then as you exhale, come back, warrior two. Gather your hands at prayer in your heart space and then look at your left knee. Take a deep bend. Come on down into Skandasana, skater's pose. Right toes curl up towards your face. Now, some of you will be down here with me. Others of you will think, nope, my hips aren't going to go there today. That's fine. You'll just bring your hands down to the floor. It's always a way to make it accessible. We're going to move side to side. If you feel like a ninja, then you could keep your hands at prayer. If you want a little bit of extra support, keep your fingertips on the floor as you move side to side and say I love you to your hips <laughs> just clearing energy in the body finding the feet finding the earth one more we meet in skandasana on the left the left leg is bent good can you take the left hand out to the side reach the right arm to the sky find a big beautiful open heart good then as you exhale hands come back to prayer well done bend the right knee Woo! come on back warrior two Take your hands to your hips. Good. Turn to face the left-hand corner of your mat now. So we're coming into goddess pose. Toes are out, heels are in, also called horse stance, but goddess sounds way more enchanting. <laughs> Make sure your knees aren't collapsing in, so they're pressing out. You're still lifting your pubic bone forward and up, finding a nice tall spine. And then hands to prayer, get a little low with it. If your legs are on fire, Movement always helps. <laughs> We're going to use a little breath technique here to again cleanse and energize. Ready? So when you inhale, straighten your legs, reach your arms up. When you exhale, the hands pull into a fist. We come back into goddess pose. Ha! Like that together. Inhale. Exhale. Ha! Inhale. Exhale. Ha! Inhale. Exhale. Ha! One more. Goddess pose, stay. Whew, see if you can get low. Good. Stay with your breath. Find, see if you can find stillness for three. Whew, fire in the legs for two. Good. Then press into the feet. Reach the arms up overhead. Hallelujah. <laughs> Good. Turn the left toes towards the back of your mat. Right foot turns in slightly. Warrior two. So take some time here to make sure your hips are comfortable. There's length in your lower back. You're not jamming. The left knee is tracking over the middle left toes. If the weight of the world is on your shoulders, 
lower them. So you're not rolling them down your back and creating compression. You're kind of squeezing the very base of your, sh of your shoulder blades to create this beautiful opening across the front of your chest. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. <sighs> Reach forward, reverse the shape. Big breath in, open the left side of your rib cage. Should feel really nice. Come on back in, warrior two. Hands full to prayer. Here we go, Skandasana to the right side. Lift the left toes, curl them up. Beautiful. Your choice, hands at prayer like a yogi ninja or hands down at the floor. Move with your breath side to side. Any stickiness, we just kind of like almost like we're flossing it out here, getting rid of all the bits that we don't need. Good. Meeting at Skandasana on the right side. Happy hips, happy life. <laughs> lift the toes up, take a breath in, reach the right arm out to the side, lift the left arm to the sky, big opening. Good, hands come back to prayer. Warrior two, deep bend into the left leg, open up and out. Ha, hands come to prayer. This time, toes turn out towards the edge of the mat, heels turn in. We're still facing towards the left hand side. Sorry, toes turn in, heels turn out. There we go. That's better. Arms reach up overhead. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands back behind you. Ha. <sighs> Interlace the hands, open the chest. And as you exhale, begin to fold forward. Now, eventually, your head and your hands might come to the floor. Or that might be a few practices away. You might be up here a little bit higher. I want you to just take the tension out of your neck and allow yourself to drape forward. Three big breaths here. So as we're in this pose, we're subtly inverting the body. So we're lifting the hips a little higher than the heart. A really energizing thing to do. Take a full breath in and a breath out, release the hands, bring your fingertips underneath your shoulders, take a halfway lift. You're still turning your toes in, pressing your feet out, lifting your sit bones up towards the sky. Left hand down, right arm reaches up to the sky. Find a nice twist. Imagine that you're unscrewing a jam jar with the left hand so the shoulder and the chest open and you can look up towards the right hand or keep the gaze down at your left thumb if the neck doesn't feel super happy with looking up, take a breath in, stay for the breath out, one more inhale, and then exhale to change sides, right hand down in front of your face, left arm reaching up towards the sky, unscrewing your sticky jam jar, looking up towards the left or keeping your gaze down, think about twisting around the axis of your spine, good, so again we're just cleansing that beautiful channel of energy that runs along the spine, last breath in, and then exhale, ah, bring the hands back under your shoulders, lift your chest up. See if you can press out through your feet, take your hands to your hips, use your belly, use your inner thighs, come all the way to stand up. Well done, yogis. Turn the right toes forward, step back to the top of your yoga mats. Beautiful job. Press into the feet, reach the arms to the sky, big breath in. As you exhale, a nice big deep bend in the knees as you fold forward. Good. Bend the knees a lot now. Sit back as if you're sitting into a chair and we take chair pose. Arms can come up and overhead or reach the hands forward if the shoulders feel a little funky doing that. Good. Can you sit your booty back? Can you wrap the inner thighs? I like to feel as though my glute muscles are squeezing and holding around my sit bones. So you're kind of giving your own butt a good little squeeze there. Lift the chest, inhale, sit a little lower as you exhale. Good. Then can you keep the chest lifted as you slowly bring your buttocks down to the floor? Without flopping, bring the butt all the way down. Ha! Ah, well done. Soles of the feet together, knees come out nice and wide. Scooch your butt. The wider that you have this little diamond shape, the easier it will be. <laughs> Make good choices. Lift the chest, fold on in. Good. Full breath in. Full breath out. Now your, na your nose might not come all the way to your toes. That's okay. You might be a little bit higher. It's all good. Be where you are. For three. 
for two beautiful yogis when you're ready lift those beautiful hearts back up bring the knees together give yourself a little cuddle take a big breath in here and a full breath out nice lift the chest up cross one ankle in front of the other and come on over into child's pose toes together knees out wide lengthen the arms forward give your forehead a moment just to relax down onto your mat nice long spine just checking back in with how you're feeling here what have you moved what have you shifted throughout this practice take one more breath in and a breath out Bring your gaze forward and walk your hands. Come and sit back on your shins. Tuck the toes under and see if you can sit back onto your heels. Whew. Say hello to the plantar fascia in your feet. Maybe tucking the toes under so the pinkies join the party. If that's too much, you can always just sit normally. Take the hands back behind you. Interlace the hands. Press the interlaced hands into your lower back. Roll the elbows in and just lift the chest. Chin is still holding an avocado. Three breaths, opening the front of the chest, wrapping the elbows back. Last inhale and exhale. Good. And then coming on up to sit onto your shins. Seeing if you can more or less stack your hips on top of your knees. Take your hands to your hip bones. Good. And then wrap the elbows back. We're going to come into one of my favorite poses. It's called camel pose, but I like to think of it as a double espresso shot. First thing in the morning or as an afternoon pick me up. A really beautiful way to lift energy up into the heart and feel this open chest expression. So when you're ready, Feeling your inner thighs squeeze together. Imagine there there's a block in between your thighs that you're squeezing onto. Go. Pubic bone lifts forward and up. And then imagine that you're in Austin Powers. You have some of those cool little nipple guns on and you're turning them up towards the sky, yeah? So you're not compressing into your lower back. You're lifting your heart up. Good. So some of us will come here. We'll start to press the hips forward, lift the chest. So there's extension and length through the spine. You're still holding that imaginary avocado. This might be where you stay today, breathing, maybe even cracking a little smile. Or you might take the hands back towards your heels and feel even more space open up. The chin can drop back if that feels good in your neck. Otherwise, we'll just keep it neutral for three Big breaths for two and then slowly come on up, hands back to your hips if you took it all the way down, untuck your toes, sit back onto your shins, close your eyes, oh, palms rest in your lap. Take three breaths here, just checking back in, feeling that elation it's so amazing how we can use our bodies to shift how we feel energetically. And these particular shapes that we've been doing today are designed to lift energy. So when you're feeling a little flat, remember that you have all these tools in your toolkit. Gently blink your eyes open. We'll come into a traditional uh, child's pose. So knees together, hands down beside your heels, Forehead resting on the mat. Just two breaths here. Let the shoulders relax. Let the weight of the world dissolve off your shoulders. And then once again, bring your hands to support you as you lift up. Slide to sit onto your buttocks. Give yourself a nice, generous hug underneath your knees. So for some of us, this might be where we get to today. Otherwise, if you want to be curious about where you could go, then you're just sort of inchworming your legs forward. Some of you might be coming all the way down and resting your forehead on your knees. Others of us were up higher. I just want you to keep your belly and your thigh, thighs, you have two of them, connected. Good. Draw the chin in, take a breath in, and then exhale, fold. Three breaths here, feeling the length of your spine, the energy that you've shifted, the energy that's moving through your body, and kind of coming home to yourself whenever we do a forward fold. It's a really great moment to fold in, to check in, to hear and listen to your own breath. One more inhale and a deep breath out. Good, lift your chest up, 
release your cuddle and make your way down onto your backs. Coming all the way to lay down. When you arrive, we'll windscreen wipe the legs a little bit. It should feel pretty nice. Good. And then from here, we'll draw the knees up in towards the chest. Let the knees come out nice and wide. This pose is called Apanasana, the wind releasing pose. So don't be alarmed should any wind be released. Perfectly natural. Draw the chin in a little bit and just press the back of your head. So you're kind of nuzzling the back of your head into your mat. That'll help lengthen your spine. And then take five belly breaths here. So just feeling the belly relax feeling the space, everything that's been released. Mm, feels really nice. Two more big breaths into the belly. Let the hips gently open. The last one together. Good. Let the right leg lengthen out. Curl the left knee up in towards your chest. And then take your left knee over to the right for a twist. Left arm can come out long. Now you can choose to either look at your left hand or keep your head neutral where it started from if that feels kinder to your neck. Two breaths here. Try and keep the left shoulder blade plugging down into the earth as much as you can so you feel the openness across your heart as well as the release through your legs and your glutes and that gentle twist and rinse through the spine. Beautiful yogis, come back through center, say goodbye to the right knee, maybe a little left knee, sorry, maybe a little roll through the ankle and then say hello to the right knee. Draw the right knee up and take it up and over your body for a twist. Right hand comes, comes out long. Again, you can choose to keep the head up or look over towards the right hand. Whatever feels kinder to your neck. Keep the right shoulder blade plugging down. Feel the heart open. Feel the spine release, the lower back. gets a nice amount of space here. One more, inhale. And exhale, come on back through center. Draw the right knee into your chest. A little farewell, maybe a roll out through the ankle. Good, and then when you're ready, Shavasana. Ah, laying down onto your back. Give your feet a little shake out, your hands a little shake out. Draw the chin in. Make sure there's nice space for your spine here to be long. And then close down your eyes. See if you can soften your jaw, your face, your shoulders, your hips. Feeling your whole body relaxing down into your mat. Soften your fingertips. Let go of any gripping or holding in your hands. Just meeting yourself here in your simplest form of awareness. Every time we take Shavasana, it's an opportunity to leave a layer behind, like a shedding or a letting go, so that we can invite in something to take with us for the rest of our day. We can invite in space for creation. Take a breath in and let a breath go. Now, if you have the time and the space in your day, you'd like to extend your Shavasana, by all means, stay where you are. Otherwise, begin to twinkle your toes, perhaps pointing the toes forward, reaching the arms overhead, finding that big open stretch. And then gently drawing the knees to your chest and your choice. You can either roll to one side or take little rocks and rolls up and down your spine to find your way to a seat. Eyes stay closed. <sighs> Hands come to prayer at your heart space. Feel the energy moving along your spine. Perhaps your state of being has shifted. And perhaps in this moment you could find something to be grateful for, to take that attitude of gratitude with you out into the rest of your day. Take a breath in together. And as you exhale, bow the head towards the heart. A moment of just honouring this tradition, of honouring our bodies. And to ourselves and one another, we say, Namaste. 
thank you, beautiful yogis, so much for joining me. It was an absolute pleasure to guide you through. If you'd like, you can go and check back our previous videos as part of this series or do this one again and again and again. If you love this outfit, it's part of the Nike Yoga Collection, which is available at Rebel in store or online. Thank you so much for joining me for this series and I'll hope to see you again on the mat really soon. Namaste. Thanks for watching Body and Soul TV. Click the subscribe button to make sure you never miss a video.